Welcome to the second screencast on practicing partial derivatives. And in this case, I'm going to consider slightly more complex examples, in particular in those involving the chain rule. And by the chain rule here, I mean the, the ordinary chain rule that you're familiar with for functions of one variable. OK, so let's see how this goes. And we'll first do, first do this problem. So given f of x and y is this, we want to compute df dx. And let's see, so at the outermost level, I have the product of two things. So we have to use the product rule. So that's the derivative of the first, first term. That'll be 1 times the second plus the first times the derivative of the second. So we have to differentiate this with respect to x. So derivative of log, of course, is 1 over. And now we have to use the chain rule. The fact is this is an x, but it's some function of x. So we have to differentiate that with respect to x. y is treated as a constant. So it'll be simply 2x. And so just combining plus, it looks like 2x squared over x squared plus y squared. So let's do the other derivative, df dy. Uh, we no longer need the product rule, although we do have this x here, which is treated as a constant. We now have to differentiate log, so that's 1 over, we now, it's not log of y, but it's log of a function of y, so we now have to differentiate that function with respect to y, and the derivative of this with respect to y, treating x as a constant, is 2y. And so that gives us as an answer. Let's do another example. I'm not going to work the whole thing out, but uh, let's do a little bit. I have a function of x, y, z. It's given by that. And let's consider the derivative with respect to z. And before, before uh, doing this, let me just make sure everybody this, these are, again, things you're supposed to know, but it won't hurt to remind you. Suppose you were just given the function f of z is equal and mentally, when we go to compute the partial derivative with respect to z of this function, mentally we have in mind this is what we're differentiating. Again, this is going to be a chain rule kind of problem. That's a to a function of z. And if you want to differentiate this with respect to z, and that's a h to the z times log of a, so you have to use the usual chain rule for functions of one variable and put h prime of z. You have to differentiate. So let's use this and, and finish off this problem. Differentiate this with respect to, to, to z. So x is a constant, so that stays the same. y over z. Then we're going to pick up a log x. We have to differentiate this. I'm just going to put a circle around it. We have to differentiate that with respect to z. That's, that's this. Differentiating that with respect to z, that's y times a minus 1 over z squared. Hopefully I did all that correctly. So that's, um, that's a few examples. You just have to, to always keep in mind what you're differentiating. You just have to know your differentiation rules, practice them, and you should be okay.